As far as I recollect, there was very little brief. They basically said, look, when you get to Bath on the train, you get out of the station, it says Bath Spa, and we haven't got a spa. So uh, we think it's time we put ourselves on the map. What is extraordinary with Bath is the completeness and the continuity of the 18th century which survives. Bath itself, from its name, is known for the thermal springs. And it is one of only two World Heritage cities in the world, the other one being Venice. So Bath and Venice are on a par in terms of their historic and uh, global significance. We were given the site and we were told, you know, give us a spa. It was laid down by the Millennium Commission that it had to be a modern building. We couldn't just ape the past, but it had to in some way fit in. It's a heritage centre, and yet the only way to get money is to build a contemporary building. There was an extremely conservative population in Bath, and there was almost an outcry before we'd even put a single line on paper. From the first plans I saw, I thought it was brutal. I felt it was not the right design for the centre of a World Heritage Site. I went straight back to my husband and I said, it's absolutely awful, it's quite inappropriate. <laughs> we decided to work together with a conservation architect, mainly because it was such a sensitive site, but also I think we know where our kind of expertise starts and finishes. Grimshaw worked carefully to look at ways to understand the essence of the 18th century classical architecture. We did have a, a small existing bar already there, which we had to restore. And that set up a certain sort of geometry. When looked at three-dimensionally, you understand that the small bath in the center of John Wood's pool is actually a cube. And it sits in a larger cube of the outer ring of the bath itself. And Grimshaws took that concept on, developed it into a contemporary building built on the basic classical geometrical concepts. So what you get for the concept is you get a stone cube sitting in a pool of water with a pool on top, enclosed in a glass cube. And it's kind of a cube within a cube. The solid cube is clad in, in bar stone. That color and texture makes all sorts of connections to the buildings around it. I then think by wrapping the stone cube in a glass cube also begins to act a little bit like a mirror at certain times of the day and reflects all of those historic buildings around it. So it almost kind of blends in. I was elected to the council, and one part of my portfolio was a spa. I was allowed to make appointment and visit the site. Well, it was a moment that you breathe in. And when all the hooding came down, suddenly you could see the building in its entity. I realized how wrong, wrong, wrong it had been. This building was just, in my mind, perfect. But the spa became, for the council, a little bit of a political ball. It was a very, very ambitious timescale and began to overrun. The people of Bath knew that it wasn't going to be open for the millennia. They became very interested in it, and of course it was public money. It was in the paper every week. So-and-so says this, so-and-so says that, somebody says it's falling down, somebody says the paint's peeling off, somebody says it's five times the cost, somebody says not above the original cost at all. 
the waters of Bath were given to the people of Bath by Queen Elizabeth I. She had inherited them when they were taken from the church by her dad, Henry VIII. And from that time on, the council have been our representatives looking after the waters. I was told, why don't we make it into a shopping center? A shopping center? No, 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 there's this hot spring which is there available to us, a gift. I just thought, I'm going to make sure this is finished and I'm going to fight for it. In the end, it was finished exactly to our design. No modifications were made at all, and it is very, very popular. There's a lot of things in an architect you can play with. It's not just about recreating certain, you know, classical details. It's about form, it's about geometry, it's about texture, it's about colour. It's about lots of different things. And I think when you do modern architecture, you can use all of those things together to create connections and evocations of things around you. I lost my seat on the council in 2008. The reason why was in great part the result of me having been involved with the spa. I don't regret it. It's open, it's running, it's beautiful, it's getting more people than expected, it's very well run, it's fantastic. I know some people were worried, but I think if you go there now, it's part of the fabric of the city.